Hi, this is Joan, and I'm sure you've all heard the news already about Tim Norman was arrested for his nephew's murder. Okay, and he is the son of the Sweetie Pie's on owner. And it's strange. I had just looked at an interview Oprah did with Tina Turner where she was talking about how Sweetie Pie got her start with her as a backup dancer. Well, to be truthful, I never watched the show, and I had no knowledge, really, of who was on the show. I never paid any attention. It's a uh, YouTube channel called Super Sly, and um, I saw it on his channel, and I, you know, now it's everywhere. Any, If you're on YouTube, you're going to see this. But, um, unfortunately, I think that these things are happening in our communities, and they have probably been happening, though I don't think as much. I think everything that has been horrific and hidden is now coming out, okay? Now, some of you, like myself, may have already had suspicions about your own family. Might have looked at them and thought, uh... I don't quite see how what you are saying happened, happened, and after it happened, how did you coincidentally just go buy a new house? Um, and my daughter told me also years ago that you can insure anybody you want to, you know, nobody's going to tell you that, um, your aunt, uncle, nephew, Sweetheart, anybody who knows you well enough to get the information to open up an insurance policy about you, uh, anybody can do that. And even your employers, there was a scandal a few years ago that employers were, and they probably still are, taking out insurance policies on their employees without their employees' consent. Well, um, these... I don't really think there's anything wrong with taking out an insurance policy on anyone, on, you know, someone who you might have the responsibility of bearing or whose loss would really devastate you financially. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it's wrong when you start valuing that policy more than you value the person. Um, to my to my estimation, to, to my knowledge, to my thoughts, rather, or, or whatever, I think that there is no amount of money that's worth a good person. And if a person isn't good, then just stay away from them. You don't have to worry about, you know, whether they're good or bad. But even this is not, um, even this was spoken of in the Bible. And hold on, I'll only show you two scriptures. And... The last one, you know, it is, it is. I'm including it for motivation, inspiration, for people who have been. I had seen a uh, one of those uh, mystery solving shows where this woman kept saying she kept her niece's clothes or maybe it was a granddaughter, I can't remember. But her, the woman had, the niece or the granddaughter had turned up missing and presumed dead and the grandmother or aunt kept saying i i know he did it i know he did it i can't prove it but i know he did it and finally they found out you know the police it was a cold case file or something and they found that he did it and i think the grandmother wound up dying before she found out and someone else was telling the story and they were saying you know she always said it. She always said that he was the one. Well, there are probably a lot of people. And, you know, it's like, um, I can't remember what that singer's name, the one who was saying something about blaming on my juice or something like that. But anyway, she said, well, you know, this is a black girl's party, but anybody can come. That's what I mean. I mean, generally, I'm talking to black people. It's probably more than likely black women but anybody can listen. But the point I'm making is that I think that these things have been happening in our community and that the way 
times are going, you have two things. You have the love of the greater number is cooling off and people are running out of money and the money they have isn't buying as much and that with all the all the bailouts they're giving is going to be even more true. And I just got a book called The Delectable Negro and they are seriously talking about cases of people in slavery who actually, you know, physically ate, you know, black people when they were slaves. I think that history repeats itself and it's terrifying, but it's just a, another reason to draw closer to the Heavenly Father. But um, I did want to sh uh, close with these two scriptures, so here they are. Okay, this is Matthew chapter 10. And basically, the scriptures that I wanted to read, both of them are in this chapter. So I'm just going to just go ahead and read the chapter. And as I'm reading, you might be thinking, well, this nephew did not die for, he was not, he was not murdered for, because of his uh, being a disciple of the Most High or the, of the Savior. But I think that he cared enough about his grandmother to leave his state and his friends and come with her. He listened to her voice. I think that we only, we tend to think that only the people who are, you know, holding up a Bible and, and telling you specific things in it, only they are doing the Father's work. But I think that when you show love, then that is what you're doing when you show consideration, concern, and willingness to change your own plans for someone. I think that that's showing love. And I think whenever you do that, the devil wakes up and, you know, there's a chance he might come after you. But uh, that is just another reason to hold his hand even more tightly. So this is Matthew chapter 10, and here it is. And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease for the names of the twelve apostles are these the first simon who is called peter and andrew his brother james the son of zebedee and john his brother philip and bartholomew thomas and matthew the publican james the son of alphaeus and Lebius, whose surname was thaddeus Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely give. Provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses, nor a script for your journey, neither two coats, neither shoes, nor, nor yet staves, for the workman is worthy of his meat. And into whatever, whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy, and thereby till ye go thence. And when ye come into a house, salute it, and if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Be aware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. 
but when they persecute you in this city flee ye for into another for verily i say unto you you shall not have gone over the cities of israel till the son of man be come the disciple is not above his master nor the servant above his lord it is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his lord if they have called the master of the house beelzebub how much more shall they call them of his household fear them not therefore for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known what i tell you in darkness that speak ye in light and what ye hear in the ear that preach ye upon the housetops and fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell are not two sparrows sold for a farthing and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father but the very hairs of your head are numbered fear ye not therefore ye are of more value than many sparrows whosoever therefore shall confess me before men him will i confess also before my father which is in heaven but whosoever shall deny me before men him will i also deny before my father which is in heaven think not that i am come to send peace on earth i came not to send peace but a sword for i am come to set a man of variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law and a man's foe shall be they of his own household he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me and he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me he that findeth his life shall lose it and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it he that receiveth you receiveth me and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me he that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward and he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward and whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple verily i say unto you he shall in no wise lose his reward okay so i read this to illustrate what's happening in our world today and also to give you hope because um as i said i don't think that this is something unfortunately i don't think it's something that doesn't happen i have been thinking for a, a while that just like when you become as i said i'm a social worker as i've said it some other time before you learn that there are a lot of things happening in people's homes that can't really be solved because the people's hearts are hard they're hard and they're given to mischief to cruelty and the only way for all that to be solved is for the savior to come and fix it you can do your little part right now but what i really want is to give encouragement to people who there was probably somebody in that family who was looking at that uncle and thinking to themselves um i think that this is a little strange i think that that almost always happens as i said in the story before was the i think that was the grandmother who was saying well you know from what i see i think something's a little weird right there you might be looking at somebody in your family thinking well um i think what happened here is questionable but you know this is my my mother, my father, my sister, my brother, whoever it is. But no matter who it is or who they're related to, everybody has to stand for themselves before the Most High. So, again, um, I know it is four years late, but my condolences to the family and to those who might actually be experiencing something similar, but it's a, not a high-profile case and nobody will really pay much attention to it know this that the heavenly father knows he knows what happened and in his own due time he'll fix it so let me close again with this one scripture 
and it's from this chapter. It's chap Matthew chapter 10, verse 26. Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and hid that shall not be known. So, you all endure. That's what we have been told to do, no matter what. And that is an extremely difficult thing to do. But as I said earlier, when things get really hard, that's when you need to hold the Heavenly Father's hand even tighter.